Yo, got a sec? What? Hey, Hunter. Parker and I cooked something up, and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. I could be free. Right on. Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. I tell you what, if you come with me just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right. Where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it! Told you. You want to give the rundown, or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home away from home. There must be a reason you do this here instead of the Forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering. Where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. The shop is where you work things out for yourself. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hell Ride, and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty. For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! <laughs> it is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? You know, Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit, but we can have it ready pretty quick. I look forward to seeing it in action. I knew you'd be into this! We are going to make so many weird things together! Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right.
Huh. So, how'd it turn out? Better than expected. Sick. So, that's the shop. What do you think? You and Parker have outdone yourselves. Then think of what the three of us can do. I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again. Shop class? Right. That's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Parker, you sticking around? You're asking me if I'm sticking around? <laughs> Walked into that one. Like a spider web? What do you say? Dude, don't make me roll up a newspaper. Not many of those left. Good for me, bad for democracy. But yeah, I'll be around. Hello, fellow shopper. Make anything lately? Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. How does this look? Swords with you. Caretaker could have at least left me a chair. 
time to take it to the next level. No, oh, you shouldn't have. Later. I can handle this, right? Yeah, I'm liking this plan. This usually... Oh, I almost feel bad for you losers. Almost. Closely. And don't come back. One for ya. This must happen to you all the time. Let's try this. This should be good. any of this, huh? I like the shirt, but I wish we'd made hoodies. I have something for you. A bag of fruit mashems? 
Components for shop class. Eh, almost as good. Hunter, have you seen Blade around? I've got some questions about vampires that I was hoping Blade could answer. I've noticed you are very curious about Blade. He's an interesting guy. Plus, we're both half human, half something else. We have common ground there. What do you think of him? We could not get far in this fight without him. He's certainly caught my attention. He rarely seems phased. I could take him on a mission in the Greater Magellanic Cloud and he wouldn't bat an eye. Is that in space? Wow, you are really earthbound, huh? End of the world situations forge strong bonds. A half vampire, a resurrected hunter, a half alien. Do not forget the guy whose head routinely catches on fire. The Midnight Suns are one of the more colorful crews I've run with. Things are looking up around here. Thanks, Hunter. forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. We hear you. Don't be distracted by Hydra's agents. Focus on disabling that truck. My schedule just opened up. than I do. Anybody else just get a weird feeling?
mean I don't. Reinforcements inbound. Surfer on order. Target the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. Are we excited? for Hydra. Before they start moving. your strength. Thank you. 
Truck isn't going anywhere, but you'll have to deal with Hydra before you can head home. I've been waiting for this. Me off. Centuries ago. You would be embarrassed by your weakness. What's our contingency plan? They're finally starting to get to me. Walk in the light. I might have to try that myself. Done it. Excellent work.
I used to run away when the world got crazy, but now I just get crazier. Tonight's the night for emo kids. You coming? Lead the way. We shall soon see if this meeting amounts to anything. What do you mean? Miss Minoru can explain. Feels like we're getting closer to figuring out how you died. It's not too much, is it? Midnight Suns need to know how it happened. Even if it kills me in the process. I disagree. Let's keep you shuffling on this mortal coil, okay? Ileana wants to lead the ritual this time. <laughs> that surprised me. Why? Magic taking the lead and caretaker staying out of her way? Uh, the world must be ending. Oh, right. It is. The ritual today will be unlike before. How so? We shall make real progress. I refuse to coddle you as the others did. I will push you beyond your limits. For this to work, I must break you. Do what you need to do. Do not be complacent. Without preparation, there is a possibility of damage. This is why you collected the ingredients I asked you to bring. You did collect them, yes? Well... no. Hmm. This complicates matters. Without ingredients, the ritual will be painful. No more than sparring in the yard. There is no danger to you or your soul. But it will sting. Now, are you ready? You may proceed. Limbo never forgets. It holds the echo of your death. What is your last memory? Lilith. A muddy circle in a clearing. Then I shall bring that echo to you. Now you become its vessel. I am ready. My head, it, it is, it is her, it is Lilith, in the circle. Do not fight the echo, allow it to wash through you. No, I, she sees me. I advance, prepared to strike. She just watches me. Whoa, is that? It is. My child, look what they've done to you. You have no right to call me child, monster. So, misguided. I have never sought to harm you. Your army says otherwise. A distraction to allow for this moment. Ileana, stop this, right now! Enough deceit. Speak plainly or suffer the consequences. Ileana! No! We must proceed! How plain can I make this, my child? <clears throat> if I am to remake this world, I need you at my side. Enough! Dilungo, Regina Kula! No! You had no right to do that. Stopping your recklessness is my obligation. <sighs> Stopping the ritual early could have destroyed the hunter's mind. The only threat to Hunter was your sloppy technique. You are impossible! You will never attempt this again. Do not constrain me. Just gonna stand here and hope they don't involve me. Yup. Mm -hmm. Well, you have that look on your face. Say what you need to say. Are you all right? You seem flustered. 
Me? I'm fine. I didn't realize what was happening until too late. Lilith's voice, spoken through you, even as an echo, creates a mystical link. She has the means to follow that link back to you. With preparation, I can shield you from such an attack. And without? She would do to you what she did to Wanda, and I won't let that happen. She makes it all about her, every time. Sarah had no right to stop the ritual. It was painful, but nothing I could not handle. She wants me to open portals and little else. I am not a delivery service. I am the ruler of Limbo. At least you trust me to be more. Maybe next time we shall learn the truth. If there is a next time. It would have worked if she'd let me finish. Miss Rasputin was correct. Feels odd on the tongue, like a fish-flavored loofah. You approve of her approach? Of course not. But she was right to push. No matter what Sarah thinks, today was a breakthrough. Um, how you doing, Hunter? Had I not hesitated, I could have stopped so much pain and suffering. She's your mother. It's never that simple. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. The good news? We are definitely closing in. That's more than enough for today. You ready to leave? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. be too strong, right, Hunter? Always heard that I have too much energy. That is a compliment. Depends on who's saying it. Used to hearing that I'm too powerful. I need to pull my punches. That seems counterintuitive in battle. I think it's because I intimidate the inferior. The most boring conversations are about who is more powerful. What do you think about that? Being powerful is not a competition. Don't tell that to competitive bodybuilders. Some confuse power with ego, or worse. Why not argue over whose starship is faster? Or tally werewolf kills. Sometimes I get swept up in being competitive. As long as the competition is good-natured. All I need is bragging rights. That's what I respect about you, Hunter. You're not afraid of your strength, and you fight to win in every battle. Caretaker and Agatha shaped me that way. If they did a good job, we all just might stop this apocalypse. And I'm betting they did.
It's not much, but I have managed to locate a few details. I remember this one. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Genius inventor strikes again. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. I'm happy to help, Hunter. I know magic, right? If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Could we speak in private? Will this lead to the two of us shouting at one another? I cannot see how. Then, yes. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. A surprise party? Have you met magic? Why do you say that? Oh, just a feeling. What does Nico want from me? Can you handle the cake? Of course. The trick will be hiding the icing. Magic Sweet Tooth can lead her to cupcakes at 50 paces.
I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. So be it. Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. So be it. Don't stop them. Get to the artifact before they figure out what happened. So much worse. By her command. Feel free to stop doing that. Taking the shot. Will not return back. Keep coming for me. Reinforcements on approach. You're ready now. The stench of their sins fills the air. Watch closely. Feel bad for you losers? Almost. personality of your own. all of a sudden. 
possible call for reinforcements? No one will touch you. It is the beginning of the end. gets the job done. Spinning. Not that it matters, but here come their friends. There are many left to be chosen. What are you? You are never my equal. Always hold a grudge. I was born for this. Sounds like we have families inbound.
ready. That was a very successful outing. Good work. Hunter. By the rising rings of... Oh, it's just you. Hey, you know what they call me in France? What? Well, nothing. I'm surprised enough when people recognize me outside of Queens. But if they did, you know what they'd call me? No idea. Pierre Parkour. I like it. What would you be called around the globe? Huh, I don't know. I haven't had the chance to linger in all the places I've been. Oh, there's a Spanish paper in Brooklyn that calls me Aranido. I like that one. Every now and then I hear someone call it out when they spot me. Usually kids, waving their arms off. Always makes my day. Oh, did I tell you Robbie's teaching me some Spanish? Next time I'll be able to say more than just, Yo no hablo espanol. Now that's an excellent time. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. the street is at the Abbey just got a massive shipment of artisan sodas. I thought we could throw a couple back, like partners on the force in one of those buddy cop movies. Throw back? Ah, yes, like a toast? Agatha was quite fond of them. Rad idea. Know any good ones? Well, my Asgardian is quite rusty, but I suppose I could try. Of course, I would need some sort of goblet to throw into the mirror. And a nice sharp axe for the bl How about I go first just to set a nice safe benchmark? So, what flavor soda can I get you? There is more than one flavor? Oh, yeah. There's Thor's Thirst, Black Widow Bubbles, Loki Lime, Radioactive Rockenberry. Radioactive what? You know what? You just chill there, and I'll pick one out for you, partner. Hey. 
Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. When we hang out, it really doesn't feel like the world is ending. J. Jonah Jameson just said, Spider-Man's existence fosters an atmosphere of toxic paranormal activity in New York. Backbiters exist to sully the character of others. The Daily Bugle printed that I conjured the Hellmouth in New York City. First off, I didn't even know Hellmouths were real until last week. Second, New York already had a Hellmouth in Staten Island. I'm pretty sure vampires live there. Entertaining rumors and schoolyard taunts only empowers bullies. Sticks and stones may break my bones, yeah, yeah. What do sticks and stones have to do with our conversation? I forgot you don't know all our modern idioms. Even Captain America knows that one. Does the idiom have a conclusion? Words can never harm me. Falsehoods galore. A prophecy is literally words trying to exterminate us. When we finish Lilith, I will teach J. Jonah Jameson exactly how much words hurt. Maybe we don't. I need the income and he pays. Thanks for distracting me, Hunter. It's clear I gotta hire a publicist. Or better yet, just hit unsubscribe from the Daily Bugle on my newsfeed. Wow, I feel better already. Now, back to stopping the prophecy that will doom all mankind. I wish we could just unsubscribe from Lilith. If only it were that simple. It's really not fair playing against me. My spider reflexes are too fast. This should be useful. Do nicely. I'm quite pleased with these results. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? What can I say, except you're welcome? See you, Hunter. Tony is working. Farewell.
Time's wasting, Hunter. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. No, you shouldn't have. Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that can still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who exactly? A physician, of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before they... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, wait. You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. I think we're all on the same page here. Common enemy, the greater good. Everyone gets it, right? Of course. We'll see. You're not putting up much of a fight. I'm going for it. Just the boost I needed. Tough 
losing all the time. For like... decades. I smell your fear. Get you nowhere. Had just about enough of this. These things are hardly worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm overly protective of the time. Feeding on me. You know as well as I do, Blade. Your thirst, my hunger. We can only fight it for so long. Some of us have tried harder than others. Um, oh, you think I haven't tried to end this? I think you failed. It sounds to me like they just missed their mama. on the way. Maybe you don't understand my path, Blade. I have surmounted one challenge after another just to reach this point. I know what you've been trying to do since you turned, and it has nothing to do with stopping the thirst. Where my blood fails me, I have no choice. That doesn't mean I can't change at all. Hate to break up the moment, but... We should probably deal with the bad guys, right? Be my victim! Now, truly, what did you expect, honestly?
blame, but you... Just lucky I'm not ready to feed. One's for you. You guys are really gonna get hurt if you're not careful. We will never forsake her. Just a scratch. The world is clear. Hold position. Greatest gift any vampire could ever hope for, Blade. To see the sun with her own eyes. None of this is a gift. Maybe that's what you don't understand about me. Almost feel like I'm intruding. I'm glad you're working out your issues. more of this can I endure? It's good to be back. My work lost. Ah! What kind of work, Doc? 
this is twisted. Thought he was one of the good guys. I said he was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Whoa. Are we talking... Daywalker in a file. Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature. But it's gone. Along with all my notes. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Not allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You left out some important details of your research, Doc. Some things are better left unsaid, but it was all necessary. Trusted Morbius. Hydra or not, this is wrong. The work Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. You've been using them? Guinea pigs? Sounds a little unethical, Doc. As opposed to the gentle treatment you and your friends give them. Big difference.
That's one hell of a move. Cross my path again. Work isn't done here. If my research here can help you defeat Hydra, and I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process, I don't see the harm. Heroes usually stand against human experimentation, isn't it? Because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused of being a hero. But your words are lost. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Who's next? Looking good. Feeling good. Your master must be so proud. They're surprisingly persistent. I don't think you've changed at all, Morbius. You're just lucky I'm As opposed to what? Me leaving you here with your experiments. Permanently. Maybe you can help us this out. This would be a lot easier if you guys just give up now. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may... There are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, 
We could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But any friend of Peter is a friend of mine. I am relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. How do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Oh, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. <sighs> you will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that, unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. <laughs> Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire-backed DNA. I cured myself, but there were... side effects. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. 
Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Doctor, meet the doctor. Now the Abbey has as many PhDs as you'd find on your average golf course. Checking in on me already, Hunter. I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Stephen. Have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a Fear Lord from the Dream Dimension. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait, what should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Stephen, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am... uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Yes? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. If this was a mistake, let me know. We will do whatever you think is best. Hey, I don't want that responsibility. If this goes south, I'm not taking the blame. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you? Call it whatever you want. 
I call it practical. Anything else on your mind? What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like... ...new breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. Yeah, wishful thinking, but prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. Thanks, Carol. See ya. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before, you know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not